I've basically curated Amazon specific clothing. We're doing Amazon fashion. It is tickling. I like it. Is that weird? God, my ass just like grabbed it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Clever Style. Yes, and welcome back to our new show, newish at this point, TikTok Tested. We recently did a bunch of spring summer trends from our For You pages, of course, on TikTok. And today, we decided to go back to something that's just kind of like our old faithful. We're doing Amazon fashion. So I don't know about you guys, but on TikTok, I get served so much stuff from Amazon, from housewares to knickknacks that I don't need, kitchen gadgets, and of course clothes. Here's how it's going to work in today's episode. Each of us have our own TikTok for you pages going, and we have basically curated Amazon specific clothing, and we are gonna try all of those outfits on for you because we are so excited. We've been waiting. Mm -hmm. It's things that we have been like tempted to buy, but we held off because we weren't sure. And guess what? We got to buy them. And we're gonna tell you if you should buy them too. As you guys know, everything will always be listed in the description below. So if you guys wanna go try any of the looks we are about to try, go shopping, it's so fun. And also if you're not already following Clever on TikTok, I'm going to allow you to do that at the end of this video. The kindness of my heart. Watch the whole thing first. Okay, Madeline, your free pages first. Let's do it. Three, two, one, bye. All right, you guys, this round is my round. Shocking. Yeah, I know. Woo! If you guys are not so surprised and feeling like Christina Aguilera, then I don't want it. I'm a genie and I'm a Come, come, come on in, meow. So, if you guys have ever heard of a little brand called I Am Gia, it's kind of a newer brand. They're definitely a little bit more on the higher end price wise. Okay. I have never bought a a item from them. So when I saw this TikTok on my For You page by a girl named Carolina, I was so excited because she was basically finding I Am Gia dupes on Amazon. You guys know me, you know I love a thrift, you know I love a dupe. We love to get things a little bit cheaper. And so Amazon was creating these perfect dupes and I swear to God, you guys, they've nailed it. They've really nailed it. The top is only $13.99. I'm pretty sure from I Am Gia this would be like 50 bucks. Oh, that's like not that, that's not that easy. Well, the pants are like 92 to 148. So I'm gonna go piece by piece. So the top I just think is really, really fun. Everyone keeps saying this is the most me outfit ever. So Madeline. And like, I guess I do kind of love like a nod to the pop star era. Kinda? <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 yes! The swag, the yes. swag! But the top I think is really fun. You could even wear these with shorts. It feels very like islandy. Like I almost feel like I'm in Hawaii or something yeah, with yep. it. And it's a fun top as you guys can see. We're all kind of, well, we're wearing it pretty similarly. And then Aaron decided to go rogue and make like a little tube top moment with well, it. Well, I didn't look at the photo before. And so I just kind of put it on the way I thought it was supposed to go. And it looks, totally it still looks good. But I like it this way. I actually think that you get two tops in one you for $13.99. I think we look like Josie and the Pussycats right now. Yes. With our all our hair, if we just give us a guitar damn it. If you guys have seen any type of pants like these on TikTok, they have been everywhere. These kind of like high waist black wrap up type of number. We're all kind of rocking a little different like tie moment. Be generous that you said rocking. We are rocking them as the pop stars we are. It does have a very long string and they fit like Kind I'm of kind that. of shocked. I thought they were gonna be thin and see through, and I just looked, and they're not. No, they're very like thick. They're stretchy. They fit like a workout pant, like a yoga pant. We were saying we wish they were a little longer. We don't know what is going on with these kind of like short pants y'all keep putting out. Yeah. But for the price and for the combo and the fact that they are all a dupe, I really think they did a great job. Like I'm very happy. What's really fascinating is I saw this. I was like, is this a joke? And then I put it on, <laughs> and then I was like. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't, oh, it started like piece by piece, like tie by tie, it started to come together as like a normal outfit. Yeah. And I really think it's fun. I personally, this is like something I would 100% never wear, but I 100% would love it on the person who this is their style, like someone like you. Yeah, I would be like, I mean, you look so cool. Yeah. But I mean, I would never gravitate towards it, but once I put it on, I was like, oh, I understand now. It's like, really? It actually, it's comfortable for not well, really covering very much. The pants, I'm shocked that I like them ish. Here's, I, mm, I'm such a like, if it's gonna be it a back. legging, no. <laughs> My thought is like, if it's gonna be a legging, then I just want it to be leggings. Sure. So at this point, I'm like, it's too short, so why not, why doesn't Aerie 
make leggings that then also have the fun crisscross tie because yeah. I think this is like it's just kind of cute it's and like interesting. Extra detail. So if it were that's that's what I would I would rather have my my like true you know my high waistband secure fitted all the way down legging with the tie. The top I think is perfect for like vacation. I want to wear this with like mm -hmm. shorts, what like to the pool, whatever. I think this is super fun. I wouldn't have bought it for myself. I think it's doing everything it sought out to do. Yeah. You did it. Congratulations. I literally feel so cute. I would probably not wear these together. It's a little bit too on the nose of like, I am Gen Z. Like <laughs> me literally trying to like go into a Gen Z party. Like it's me, I'm yeah. here. How do you do, fellow kids? Yeah, it's definitely making me almost feel old. Like I feel a little too old, but I do think it's a kind of a, a great dupe. So I would rate this 10 out of 10, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna rate it seven out of 10. I really like it. I wish it was longer. I personally never wear it, but I want one of you all to wear it because it's really cute. I, uh, if I could just rate the top, I would say 10 out of 10. So the pants are gonna bring it down a little bit, but it is really, it's really, it's just so different for me. I wouldn't have thought of that I would be comfortable wearing it. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, which is really good. Yeah, look, in yeah. the wrong hands, this comes off very midlife crisis. In the right hands, it's a fun time I at a bar with a vodka soda. And that's where I was going with this. White Claw. Or White Claw. Okay, so this is my round. This is a cute little romper. This comes in eight colors, which is incredible. Sizes small to extra large. I don't know how I feel. I guess I have some complaints about this color. Mm -hmm. I love Erin's color. I'm not a fan of muted tones. Yeah. It doesn't feel too small, but it feels like mm -hmm. it is tickling. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. The way you're standing yeah. and doing that. That is quite a situation. Actually, I feel like the cut of this dress makes it feel a little bit like new and like current. I feel like it's a cut and a style that I would see at Zara right now, like this type of like V-ing down. I wonder if this that was them ripping off something at Zara then. Yeah, it does feel trendy, like a trendy twist on a pretty like standard go-to floral dress that we've all like owned at some point. Okay, look, it fits you perfectly in the chest. It fits you perfectly in the chest. This is I think like a medium and I, again, I've never decided I had small chest until today. It's like, mm. it's the extra room. The tie straps give you a lot of uh, adjustment. It took me a while to get it right. Yes, yeah, same. Mm -hmm. It is very comfortable. It's very light. It, it's very airy. Not like not like the brand. Yeah. It's just light and soft. It doesn't feel cheap like it could feel. You know, like on Amazon, you just never know what the material is gonna feel like. Yeah. But you guys, what if you like dropped your I don't know your eyeshadow brush? I'm more worried that my chest will come out pick than up, my butt. Actually, your, nothing. Pick up your, your booty blender. It's not going in floor. my butt crack. It did go in my butt crack when I squat. It just went in my butt I'm crack. I'm not so worried about it going in, more so my butt coming out. So you bend and snap. Now, like, there's, can you see my, like, I, I need to looking. get a bruise. Really I'm going to show you guys, but not the camera. So I just stood up. Uh -oh. Is it giving you a good wedgie? Uh, not just a wedgie, it. but like, my it. ass is It up. has moved in. Yep. It is not paying rent. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's that airy type of romper. It's like I was saying, it's a romper that like a gust of wind won't, you know, make it go anywhere. But you definitely don't feel so covered, covered, covered. Maybe just throw on like a little booty short underneath and like live your life, I guess. Like, Maybe I bathing suit cover. I really like the cut. I think it's like an interesting cut that you don't really see. I think it's a little too short for me personally, but I find that to be the case with a lot of dresses at my height. But if you don't have that problem, I really like it. It looks really good on you. Yeah, I, I like this color. Color a lot. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I wish it was 1999. Sure. I don't have that choice. Uh, but that would be the one thing that I'd change about it. Maybe the length. So maybe I should give it a. I'll give it a nine out of ten. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Yeah, I mean I think if if you just want something like not super expensive, like a summery dress, I think it's very cute. I won't feel it super memorable. Maybe that's though like what I look for these days when I'm shopping is something that like I want to grab every time yeah. I'm like doing something, running a quick errand. I'll give it an eight out of 10. It's not knocking my socks off and $30 isn't like $6. Like if it was yeah. $6, I'd be like, oh my God, yeah, I get it. it. You know, so. 33 is like, oh, okay, I can't go get that in five colors. You know what I mean? Yeah, get it, it doesn't make colors. me feel special. Aw, you're very special. Oh my God. You are special. I think, okay, for rating this one, 
Ugh, if I look at Erin. It's so cute on you, and yeah. the color is really good. Like, yeah. that's what I wanted it to look like. So, I'm gonna give that a nine. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. But this color, don't don't get this one. Erin's is a nine out of 10. I feel like I'm on The Price is Right. Totally. <laughs> Vanna White. This is my For You page. Uh, my girl Sam on TikTok was trying to sell this to me and it worked. She was wearing a yellow version of this, which by the way has sold out on Amazon, so the power of TikTok is real. Um, this is a two piece set, it comes in like 15 plus colors. Um, it is about $38. And the reason why I actually wanted to try this is because I tried another version of this from I think our Princess Polly episode, and they had the exact set um, and I loved that but I actually think I like this even better than that wow. set because the other set from Princess Polly was cute but it was kind of like a, a little more structured a little bit more not as soft as this this is really super comfortable yeah. it's not itchy it's really soft the shorts are a little bit longer which I kind of appreciate and I feel like it's like good quality I don't think it's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. I think it's a really good like practical run to Target, run to the grocery store. Those are the only two places I have gone really. Um, and just like wear it out and you don't feel, you still look cute and put together, but you don't feel like. You were in pajamas. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Yeah. So I love it. I love this color. I love this color. This color I think is good. I know Lauren doesn't love it. I know it's a really popular, well-loved color. Actually, this looks good on you, I will say, because I know you've been hit with the beige before. And <laughs> I guess it's like you said earlier, I get hit with the beige and just like, um, it's like a forgettable color to me. I do love this lavender. I feel very like cute mm -hmm. in springtime. Yeah. And I used to hate matching two pieces. I always felt like there was something like I was at like a camp, like a fitness camp or something, and you'd be wearing a matching sweatsuit. But now that's like the thing. Yeah, thank God. I'm trying to not say fat camp. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but that's what I always I was pictured. About <laughs> me too! I'm feeling skinny, Tony. One thing about the shorts too is I know I'm in the minority with the like, we all love pockets. Everybody loves dresses with pockets. What are you about to say? Not what you think. Watch your mouth. What do you think? Here's what I like about these shorts is the pockets are more on the front. My yes. issue is that they put a lot of cheaper brands or whatever will put the pockets right on the thickest part of my thighs and it's extra material and it kind of ends up looking like this and these pockets are on the front. Yes, you're so right. They're flattering. It adds, it is kind of just like an interesting, I love this style of pocket. It adds a little bit of detail to an otherwise kind of simple set of, like the shorts could have just been a little more basic looking and it just looks, Intentional. Yeah, and and the the fabric is thin enough where I feel like if it didn't have the pockets, you'd almost feel like you could see the outline of your underwear. So I'm actually liking the pockets; they actually help. I wouldn't say every like my pants will get pulled down if I put my phone in this pocket. But <gasps> I think you could size down maybe even. Kind of, yeah, but like loungy wise, like I don't mind it. I'm gonna give this a ten out of ten, mostly because I know there's a comp out there that's not nearly as good, and I thought it was great at the time. So I can't rate it anything other than ten out of ten. I love it. Yeah, I actually would give. This a 10 out of 10. I would never order this. This is not something I would like think about ordering, but now that it's on my body and I like the colors, they're not like ugly colors and it's comfortable. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 too. Erin, you redeemed yourself. Thank God, I finally have a good round on this show. Yeah. Perfect score. All right, you guys, last but certainly not least is our viral round. You guys asked for this. We might be a little late to the game, but better late than never because these are viral clothing items, so mm. you guys need to see it. And you're actually our bosses, so we do whatever you guys we say. We do what you want. Sheep. And goodbye. <laughs> viral round and we're a little late to the game but you guys recommended it these are the viral TikTok leggings that are supposed to make your butt look like you can do squats which I am not good at so um, hopefully they help give the illusion that I can. Ooh, shake um, it for me, girl, cowgirl. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Um, I've been wanting to try these, actually, not because I actually want to wear them anywhere. I just want to just see what they feel like, and I'm so glad I was able to feel them because 
They feel incredible. Also, the, these leggings have like millions and millions and millions and millions of views on TikTok, so we don't have anybody to attribute this to. They give you like a perma wedgie. Uh -huh. It's the scrunching, it's the scrunching thing it's, that yes. like always, but it does look just look like you have a wedgie. It does. Yeah, I, I can't stop thinking about your wedgie. I know, I think in black it kind of like hides the rouging a little, yeah. so it maybe helps more, but I will say, having tried the pair I have, and then these, these are way softer. So if you guys are looking to get a pair, I would say shop our link, because it's these are actually like really nice, really stretchy. So comfortable. I feel very held in, oh. very put together. I, I just, I don't know, I'm not sold on the ruching. I think it like, I don't like drawing attention to my ass. Sure. So when I go to Target, I don't want people being like, look at that juicy ass, right? I know. It's a catch-22, because it's like, we want to feel so hot and good about ourselves, and we like want it, but then we don't want unwanted attention on our lady I parts. I want it uh. when I want it, and not a second before. I only want nine million people on TikTok to see it, but nobody at Target to watch my butt. I, I just feel like when I get home and I take these off, I'm gonna have to look at my real butt and know that it's not as nice as it looks here. Karen, I yeah. actually think that you're wrong because I think you and I are, are gifted in the, the derriere and these leggings are not for us. Our butts look good and juicy in regular leggings. The whole virality of it was meant for like girls who don't are aren't as blessed here as we are. I would never feel comfortable enough wearing these in public just because there is so much attention drawn to, I mean, I don't even want to turn around. Drawn to I, the wedgie, yeah. Yeah, it's so in your butt crap. It doesn't, these, I don't know if it's this size or this color or what, but these don't even, I don't even feel like I'm wearing pants. They're so comfortable. So I agree, it doesn't like, feel like a wedgie. I know it looks no. like one, but it doesn't feel like one. But the, this is the catch 22 with these pants is that I buy them and then I'm like too shy to wear them because people are gonna be like, oh my God, those right. are the TikTok those leggings. The TikTok yeah. leggings. They're, they're, no, they're not. They're too popular now. They're the clever leggings. I know. I would 100% recommend buying these if you are comfortable enough wearing them in public. If you're working at home or you're lounging at home, I think these are like some of the most comfortable leggings. Yeah. I think I might own, and I own a lot of Lululemons that I will like bow down to. These are comps in far, as far as quality to like those really expensive buttery. workout pants. They're so buttery, they're so tight, but not too tight. Oh, I just like don't want to take them off. I would eat lunch in these. I'm they are That's a big comfortable. deal. They're comfortable, but uh, is anyone getting the sense that it would be really suffocating to work out in them? I don't feel it. Uh, I like it. Is that weird? Feels oh my it. god, my ass just like grabbed it. I like it. I like it. Kind of just reminds you that it's still, you have a butt crack back there. I, I have know. mixed reviews oh, from everyone. Oh no, yeah. when I what? squat, it, it's picking up the whole pants. So what would you guys rate these? I can't tell if you like them or hate them or love them. I can't, I'm not sure. I think I need a therapy about I how I can't stop it. touching myself. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Woo! Wow. Wow. I just love them very, very much. I also like this color, so. Okay, I would rate these a seven out of 10, only because I don't see myself necessarily grabbing for them often because of the sheer fact that they are just the TikTok legging, and that's so sad to admit. I know, it's true. Though. But I just don't want to hear it. But I also have other leggings I prefer to work out in, mm -hmm. um, but I think that they're good quality. If there's a pair of leggings that I love, I will buy 10 of them. I want them in every color. I'm not getting this vibe. I'm not gonna go, this tank top. We tested this on some TikTok video Amazing. last year. Yeah. I now own six of this tank top because I loved it so much. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm gonna give it a one out of 10. <gasps> Oh, good. Wow. Because I just Blast don't think, I just don't, I can't, I don't feel comfortable like recommending this when I'm like, hey, I'll tell you which ones you should go buy. I get that. Yes, I know what you mean. I'm never taking them off. What a range from all of us, really. Okay, another episode of TikTok Tested in the Books. I feel good about some of our finds today. We had some misses, had a little few hits. I'm into it. I think this is a pretty solid episode. Yeah, right? nothing was like a total zero. And if you guys want to shop any of these links, as you always know, everything will be linked down below. So go shopping, it's fun. And we want to know what you guys would rate these as well. I'm very curious. Yeah. And in the meantime, we're going to continue scrolling so that we can do another episode, but make sure that you leave a comment of something that you have to see us try like you did with this because we will do it. You know that we will. And this is my favorite part of the video because I'm not behind the box. There's boxes over there, over there, over there. You're gonna click them and I'm behind the box, aren't I?